All right. So, 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 we have this California or um, Colorado lottery game, and we we're trying to find the expected value of this thing, right? So we needed to compile a list of outcomes and their probabilities. Luckily, those were basically in here. So I do not need any of this number of winning tickets data, right? Because all I care about is the money I'm going to win and the probability of winning that money. OK, so what's your first outcome? Okay, so we're going to make 5,000 bucks and we're going to multiply that by the probability which is low. Uh, 720,000. Okay? And then what? Okay, and then I have to account for the one that's 500, so that's 500 <laughs> and the odds of that are 1 per 1171. Why is there this minus one floating on the edge of the board? That's going to account for your cost. OK, so I need to remember at the end to subtract one for the cost of my ticket. So what about your $250 winnings? What do you get? 250 times one over 21,000. Uh, does anyone notice something funny that just happened? Tim just said that. Yeah, like this was really low probability, and then it was really high probability, and now it's low again. So you have a better chance of winning 500 than 200? Apparently, I have a much better chance of winning $500 than I do of winning $250. What? I don't know. It's their game. Ask them. So let's keep going here. So what's my next one? 100? And the probability of that is? One in six thousand eight hundred and fifty seven. Okay. And so forth, right? So we got forty and that's one in fifteen twenty nine. And then we got twenty five, which is one in three hundred. Three hundred and confusingly there's commas and decimals in this table. And then we got ten times one in a hundred, and then we got five times one in one fifty. One in a hundred fifty, and then there's plus. Gosh, there's a lot of these. Four, and that's one in fifty-four point five five. Weird. And then two dollar tickets. One in twenty-four. Those are one in twenty-four. And then there's dollar tickets, and those are one in six point one two. And then there's minus one. Minus your dollar for buying a ticket. Times zero. <coughs> Times what? Your total your probability of getting that. Times the probability of having bought a ticket to play, right? You guys see that? Right, to get any of this other thing as an option, right, you're going to have to buy that ticket. So that's kind of a given on this whole thing. So if you run this, what do you get? 0 0.29. 0 0.02285888. Oh, okay. Dollars. So I got this. This is in dollars, right? That's right. Because it's dollars times probabilities. Probabilities are unit free. So I got dollars, really. What the heck does that mean? That means that you can expect to make two cents if you buy every single ticket. You guys see that? That means that on average, right, buying a ticket in this lottery is going to net me two cents. That's probably not how the lottery works, right? They're probably not going to, like, when they make lottery tickets, right, they print up a batch of lottery tickets. <laughs> and they know how much the payout's going to be because they're not stupid, right? This is a money-making scheme. It's not random chance at all. The only randomness in the lottery is who wins the money. The money will be given to someone 
as long as they buy the ticket and don't lose it. Right? Every time somebody loses a lottery ticket, the state goes like, yes. <laughs> right? Assuming it was a winner. Either, either way. Either way. Right? They already paid for it. I don't care whether it won or lost. I'm psyched they lost it. It might have been a winner. <laughs> so what's the problem? Where's the typo in this? There's a typo in here from the state of Colorado. Where is it? Prize amount 500 probably should be at 24 winning tickets. Yeah, there's this number, right? Mm -hmm. like there's a lot of $500 tickets. You know what they did? So I did find the error in this table eventually. I did dig it out of there. Numbers. Yeah, they, so. Should that be the $100? They had the under $500 tickets, and they had a total of the under $500, and then right next to it was the line for $500 tickets, and they took the wrong number. You guys see that? So if you add up some set of numbers in here, you'll get to pretty close to this. There's really about 25 tickets at the $500 level. When you call the lotto and ask, they'll tell you. The woman was very polite on the phone. <laughs> she said, oh, that's our bad. I'll go fix that. It's illegal for them to screw around with these numbers. Right? They have to publish these. I couldn't find California's. I don't know if it's not mandatory that they publish theirs or what, but I couldn't find them. The state of Colorado is really nicely published in nice Excel spreadsheets for every game. So you can see that this one is the something with a merry multiplier, some kind of holiday game from a couple of years ago. Cool. Questions on this? What does that number mean again? Okay. <coughs> this 2.3 cents is your expected takeaway, right? Your expected profit from buying a lottery ticket. Completing said action. That means that if I buy a lottery ticket, right, mm -hmm. I expect to on average win three cents, right, more than I pay. Right, that's my profit. For every dollar you put in, you expect to get back a dollar and three cents. Yeah. This is your expected return. I'm curious who was looking at these tables and saw this type of everybody. Saw what? This type of error? Yeah. Oh, a friend of mine was literally doing an example for this class and oh. sent me this table <laughs> and said, I can't figure out why this expected value is coming up positive. What the hell? Wow. And so I went, I did this exact same calculation that you guys just did. Mm -hmm. I got this same number. I texted him back, like, dude, you're getting like 2.3 cents, right? And he goes, yeah. And so I dug through the Excel spreadsheets that are behind this table and found that they had pulled something out of the wrong row. And then I called the gal to confirm it, and they were very nice. Awesome. They sent you a check for No, they didn't send me a check for shit. I wanted them to send me a check for the difference, but they wouldn't. Because there's 2.8 million tickets, right? So what's the total here? Like, if this were actually the case, you could make real money with this. Ready? What's the order of that? You guys see that? So there's 2.8 million tickets here, give or take. 2.88. So if I'm making three cents per ticket. You're, you're making $65,000. Yeah, so back of the envelope, right? 2.88 times 10 to the sixth tickets. Right? And I should be multiplying by three cents per ticket. So I should expect to make roughly nine times ten to the fourth about ninety thousand bucks. I really wanted them to send me a check for that, but they wouldn't even go for half of it. Would they go for five hundred? No, they wouldn't go for shit. <laughs> they said, that's a typo. Good catch. Thanks. We'll change it.